Greece has been a lot of fun, but you are about to watch it be completed 100% here. That's right, pull the curtain down, stick a fork in it, it is done. And I've got some really solid cinematics at the end of this episode for you guys, showing everything that's been built over the last four months. This episode was really, really fun because I built a whole lot of different things and we're going to start here with this really awkward walkway or stairway that's running from Amudi Bay up to our sort of main town. Now, in real life, this is actually quite a famous walkway or stairway. It's got 100 or sorry, 216 steps, I think, or something like that, but you can actually count them on the way down to the bay and no. I have not bothered to put in exactly the right amount of stairs, that's a little bit too far I think. I've just left it as a concrete walkway and put some network walls up each side of it. I've tried to follow sort of the natural flow of the terrain and the view down from the top is pretty spectacular. In real life this is right on the very edge of the town, like the top of this walkway pretty much just flows right into the heart of the town. My version is considerably smaller than that, so there's going to be a little bit of a gap before we reach that main town. I'm going to build just a little wee part here that's got some buildings and a few car parks, and I suppose just try and make it look as organic as I can. Then we're going to shoot across the other side of the hill and do pretty much the same thing at the top of the cable car. So one thing we're going to see a lot of in this episode is car parks and that's following what we see in real life. Because obviously it's predominantly pedestrian only, there's got to be a place to be able to park your car. And from my observations there's only one airport into the island and it is a fair way away from here so probably a lot of the tourists will either use a bus to get here or they'll have a vehicle of some sort. So with that said car parks are going to become a little bit of a theme for the edge of our town especially around something like this the top of the cable car this is a bit of an attraction so you would definitely see more parking around these areas. And the rest of the area I've just tried to sort of blend in with the general grease theme with all the white walls and stuff everywhere and it looks kind of cool with the cable car just slipping in amongst the buildings here. This is one of my favourite parts of the episode because we get to build a really cool and fancy Greek style mansion. The Greek asset creator Not Done Yet, who's responsible for some of the coolest stuff we use on the workshop, has kindly made this really awesome mansion for the series. Or actually it's probably a villa, that's probably a better name for it. But we've got a beautiful little spot here on the top of the hill it's perfect for this sort of build. I've run the road right into a makeshift garage here and it looks like the vehicles are just entering and exiting this little garage. Now we're going to move in a bit closer and do some detailing. There's no doubt in my mind that Not Done Yet has spent a long time making this villa and I think it's only fair that I spend a bit of time putting some props here and really bringing it to life. These garages I've added here are my own creation and I've got this perfect little spot for the entry to the mansion right here between them. And my thinking here was what would the entry to a mansion like this look like? It wouldn't just be a door. There would have to be a place where you could wait with shelter if it's raining or whatever. And I figure there'd be some plants or some something nice around to sort of greet you into the building. So I add some nice planters in here with some nice gardens. And then I kind of just extend the roadway with Sully's decal to make it look like a bit of a courtyard in front of the garages. Then to finish it off, it wouldn't be a mansion without a big Mr. Burns style gate at the end of the driveway. Getting technical for a little bit, I was trying to use PO to make the gate open because vehicles obviously driving up the road look like they're going into the gate, but I couldn't achieve it and I kind of just figured I don't really care if they clip through it because it, it looks cool and it looks appropriate. Now with all that peripheral detailing done, I can move on to actually doing the mansion and putting in all of the really cool stuff. I've got a bit of an analogy when it comes to detailing these sorts of things. There's two things that I focus on, and I would call them 
functionality and form. Starting with functionality, that would include things that you would expect to see to make a building like this run correctly. So vents on the roof for air conditioning, solar panels for water heating, balcony handrails if required, and form may represent things that are sort of there for comfort maybe. So shade in the areas you might expect to hang out the most, seats and lounges and furniture around the place, also making sure there's appropriate lighting in and things like that. Then we're gonna move on to detailing the very edge of the town. I desperately try to avoid leaving parts of the town unfinished but with the complexity that this build has offered it's sort of inevitable that I've got these loose ends that I've got to tie up all over the place really. Now I mentioned briefly earlier about lots of car parks on the edge of town. Some of the other things we're going to see a lot of though are like network brick or stone walls. It looks as though a lot of the buildings on the edge of town have a bit of land or property with them and most of them have these stone network walls around them. As you can see as well, I've included some cliffs and grass and tried to make the edge of the town look realistic and the road is completely unmarked. So I've used just a really plain, low density or low traffic two lane road. We're putting in an effort here to keep this realistic and including Ivania's cliff rock props where we need to, where the terrain gets steep. Then I'm going to pretty much just follow the tune of what I mentioned earlier with the stone network walls creating these sections here. Another thing that I want to mention is I add some sand decals to the road to make it look like there's a bit of sand and stuff blowing in here which is a cool little feature I think. Real Life e has got a couple of really cool windmills. I've already included one in the town that I've sort of turned into a restaurant or hotel, but I've actually got five or six of these on the outskirts of town that are powering our town. These are actually providing real power in game. I would really love to turn these into some sort of attraction. We've got a little road coming down here that I'm going to turn into an access road for this little attraction. This first windmill here you're going to be able to walk up and through and have a look in and the other ones I'm just going to have a pedestrian path running around the base of them so you can just go check them all out. I also want to add in a couple of stone buildings to represent maybe some older buildings in the area. Maybe this is the main building for the area but I also slip some entertainment cubes inside these and that's what draws people to this area. And I don't know about you guys, but I would most definitely go and check this out if I was here in real life. It's one of those bittersweet moments. I'm really pleased to have finished Greece. I'm happy as with it, but really sad to be going as well. I am, however, very pleased to announce that I've decided where I'm going to build next, and it is going to be... You'll have to wait and see. Anyways, don't worry about that too much. Just enjoy the rest of Greece, guys. I've got some really nice shots here. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of these cinematics.
I sincerely hope you guys have enjoyed our time in Greece. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dirty H and I know that's a horrible name. I'm actually not that dirty in real life. I'm fairly clean, but I've made this awkward. Um, yeah, thank you. If you are enjoying my content, you could give me a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. But also, seeing as this is the last episode of Greece, I would love to get your comments on it. Did you enjoy it? Maybe there's things you thought I could have done better or differently. Whatever it may be, chuck it down in the comments. I really appreciate it and it helps me out with the old algorithm because my name sure as hell doesn't. Thank you once again, you legends from the bottom of my heart. You're very much appreciated. Take care of yourselves, guys. I really mean that. Look after each other and I hope to see you on the next episode of City Skylines Europe. See you guys.